Hello everyone and welcome back. As we have seen in our last lesson, our express REST endpoint is going to need to query the Firestore database in a secure way. For example, we are going to need a connection to the database in order to get the course object from the database. We need the course object to be able to grab the course description, the price, etc. So as you can see, going back here to the Firebase console, the course object is going to be available here under the courses collection. Now, in order to be able to query this database in a secure way, we need what is known as a service account. This is a special account that we need to create that we will use to connect from our node backend. This account is going to have special privileges. We are going to be able to validate JSON Web Token signatures and we are going to be able to do all sorts of database modification operations from our node backend process. So as you can imagine, the service account is really like any other database administrator account. The credentials for this account need to be kept secret, otherwise a malicious user could gain access to the whole database. In order to set up a service account, we are going to go here to our project settings page from our Firebase dashboard. We can see here one of the parameters that we're going to need, which is the project identifier. In my case, this is stripe-course-recording. This is a global unique identifier that does not need to be kept private. However, in order to connect to the database, we need from here, from the multiple settings tab, we're going to find here the service accounts tab. From here, we can create a new service account and our project has actually already a few service accounts available. Now we could create the service account directly here from the Firebase dashboard, but we are going to be using the Google Cloud Platform dashboard instead. It might not be clear at this point, but the whole Firebase ecosystem is built on top of Google Clouds. So Firebase is really a more web developer friendly version of many of the capabilities that we have available in the full-blown Google Cloud ecosystem. Our Firebase project with this ID is actually a Google Cloud project. So we have already created, without being aware of it, a Google Cloud project with this identifier, Stripe-Course-Recording. We can access the dashboard with all the Google Cloud capabilities, for example, by clicking this link here under the Service Accounts tab. We are going to see here other service accounts. If we click on it, this is going to open the Google Cloud dashboard available under console.cloud.google.com. Notice that if by any chance you have multiple Google accounts open at the same time, you might have to close some of them in order to get logged into your Google Cloud console with the correct Google account. You should see here the name of your project, in this case Stripe Course Recording, under the tab Service Accounts. We can see that there are a couple of service accounts that are already created. Now, I recommend that you don't use any of these default service accounts. It's always better to create one from scratch. Let's do that. Let's create here a new service account that is going to be used by our development backend. So this account could be different than, for example, the one in production. Let's call it Stripe Course Development Account. And let's fix here the service course ID that was generated. Let's name it Stripe Course Dev Account. Let's give it a description that is going to be the same as the name. And let's click on Create. So now we have created the service account. We now just need to give it permissions. Let's select here a role. Let's look for the role editor. So this will give right access to every collection and document in the database. So it's a very powerful permission that we are granting to our service account. There are many other options available, but for the moment we only need the editor role. Let's click on continue and this is going to create our service account. The service account is now ready. So now all we have to do is to create a key. So a key is going to be a JSON file that we can download and use in our node backend in order to access the Firestore database. Let's click here on create key. Let's choose as key type JSON and let's hit the create button. This is going to take a moment, but after a while you are going to get a JSON file that you can download 
and keep for later on in the course. Once we have the file, let's now switch again to our development environment and we are going to copy the service account into our project. Let's open here the server folder and we're going to create here a new empty directory that we are going to call service-accounts. Inside it, we are going to paste our new file. So as you can see, this is a JSON file containing here a series of private identifiers. Now, this file needs to be kept secret, it should not be committed to source control and it should not be lost, otherwise our database would be compromised. In order to make sure that this does not get committed to source control, I have added this folder here, service-accounts, to your git ignore file. So you can see here that anything under service accounts will not be added to source control. You want to make sure that you do that in your own projects as well. In order to get a safe connection to the database, we are going to need to access this file. So let's copy its file name and let's add the file name here as a new environment variable. We are going to call this variable service account file name and let's assign it the name of the file. Setting this as an environment variable makes it very simple to have different databases for development and production, each with their own separate service accounts. Another setting that we're going to be needing in order to access the database from Node is going to be the Firestore project identifier. So let's add here a new variable called project ID. Let's switch back to our Firebase dashboard and let's grab the project identifier here from the settings screen and from the generals tab. So in my case, my project identifier is stripe-course-recording. Let's now set this here in our environment variable and with this we are now ready to access our database from our node process. We are going to be learning how to do that in the next lesson.